Marcus. What's up, brother? Good seeing you, man. Me too. How are, how, how are you feeling? I feel great. I, I don't know if I could feel any, any, any better. I don't know. It's been a few minutes since your fight, man. Uh, how would you feel about it? You know, I felt like I could have made some different adjustments, but I, overall, I was happy to get the finish, happy to get a submission over a guy like that, right? Um, but yeah, uh, just surreal, you know, just trying to bask in all this, all this greatness right now. What was the game plan coming in on three days' notice? I mean, uh, and I'm pretty, you know, um, not a lot to, not a lot of time to dissect your opponent like you usually do. What was the game plan? You know me, man. My game plan was to come knock him out. That was my game plan. I, was, I didn't know if it was going to be left hand, right hand, head kick. I didn't know what it was going to be. But body shot, I was just like, all right, I'm just going to throw the kitchen counter at him, you know, kitchen sink at him. And uh, that was my original plan. I knew he was tough. I knew he could hit hard. I just uh, wanted to have faith in the fact that I had done all the work and that I was going to be quick enough and sharp enough to get the job done. Three days notice. Where were you when you, when you got the call? Uh, I was in my truck about to go get something to eat because uh, I like to fast a lot. Uh, so, like, usually I'll start my week off with a fast, like one or two day fast. And I was like, I, I knew I was looking for a fight. So I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to, I was like, oh, I'm going to go get something to eat. So I was literally about to go get something to eat. I'm heading over to Clean Eats. And sure enough, my coach hits me up. Hey, you ready to fight? I was like, what? Took a left instead of going straight, headed home. I didn't know if it was for sure or not, but I was like, I better not go eat. So that's where I was. What was the emotion like when you got that call, man? I know you've been, you've, you've been working at it. You've been in the gym. You always give your teammates work. Like, what was the, what was the emotion when you got that call? Uh, be honest, uh, nervous, scared, petrified, <laughs> you know, like uh, all those things. You know, I, I it definitely, you know, I have a lot of faith in myself and I believe in myself. But at the same time, I'm a very humble man and, and understand that we are all just human beings, flesh and blood. And, you know, we're looking at these guys from the outside in. This is the UFC. This is the biggest platform in the world. And again, I have respect for this game like no other. You know, I really understand what it takes to be behind the scenes in this and what these guys give. So when I first got it, I was like, oh my, three days? Oh my gosh, oh, can I do this? You know, and then I was like, you know what? You know, put my faith in God, which I already do. And, uh, you know, uh, there's a reason why I didn't already go eat. There's a reason why my weight was on weight. There was a reason why all this happened and he put me in the position to do it and I just had to show up for the moment. How was the weight coming into fight week? It was fantastic, honestly. I, I was like around 53, 52 when they first called me. Uh, so that's not bad, especially only having to go to 40. Uh, and I've never had a problem making weight. You know, I'm a bigger guy, but I'm, uh, when it comes down to it, especially when I know about fights, I'm very diligent and uh, disciplined in my preparation. Uh, and I will do what it takes to make sure that weight, that I make that weight every time. So um, it was good. A lot of the hardcore MMA fans knew who you were, um, but how was it like having your teammates, having Sean O'Malley, having people you know pump you up before the before the debut? Like, do you think that was a performance that really puts you on the map? Uh, yeah, I think the performance definitely was for sure. You know, and honestly, like everybody pumping me up. I, again, me getting in my own head all the time. Like, oh man, everybody's just pumping me up. They're just gassing me. Uh, you know, I don't know how this is gonna end up. Uh, don't don't get into it too much. Like, I'm such a I'm such a weird, different type of person. You know, so like I was like trying to ignore all that, that you know, just noise. You know, like oh man, these guys are. And I and honestly, my team is the best team. So like they are really honest. Like if they, if you're not doing good, they're gonna tell you that. So I kept telling myself that too. Like hey, they're not just telling me these things because they're just telling me. Me. But the other side of me is always like, ah, oh, maybe, you know, maybe. So uh, it was awesome to get that type of uh, response from such a, for all my fan, from all my, my teammates and fans and everything. But uh, yeah, I think it was definitely a performance to put me on the map for sure. When would you like to return? Uh, as soon as possible. Uh, you know, I might have a couple of injuries. We'll see. I threw a couple of kicks that I have to find out about. So uh, honestly, I would love to fight International Fight Week. Uh, that sounds great. Uh, or August, you know, something like that. I don't want to take too much. I'd like to fight two times this year if, uh, if I can. So two more times in the UFC this year. I want to be active. I haven't been as active in my career as I'd like to be. So um, that's what I'd like to do. So if we can get a good matchup and uh, get back in here, that's what I'm here to do. Finally, how are you going to celebrate this big win? Uh, first, I'm going to hang out with my guys tonight that came out here with me, and then I'm going to go home and just spoil the heck out of my wife and kids. Uh, they deserve it. They've been riding with me, and I've been grinding super hard, not really taking any time to spend time with them like I want to. So whatever I can do for them, that's what I'm going to do. Congrats. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. Hey, Marcus. Hey, how's it going?
Good, how are you? Not too bad. I bet you're much better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You look pretty good. <laughs> um, I'm just curious, you know, seeing as this UFC debut came only three days, you know, do you kind of prefer that you didn't have like six weeks to overthink it and overtrain and maybe kind of psych yourself out? Did, did you like the fact that this happened in such short notice? No. <laughs> no, I, I like the extra time, to tell you the truth. I, it's more so just because, like, you know, I can be more dialed in and have more confidence. Because, again, like, I, I think the mentality I have, a lot of people, like, I'm confident, but the mentality I always stick by is, like, I am a man, you know? Like, I'm a human being. I'm flesh and blood, so... I can make so many mistakes on any day. So it's always like, you know, the extra preparation and putting in the time and effort and work, all those things always add up to me, you know? So I would prefer to have the extra time. I will, I have taken a lot of uh, short notice calls though and it ends up working out pretty well. But uh, I would prefer to have the time for sure. I'll take the time. So it wasn't the fact that it was the UFC calling that you said yes. You, you sound like you maybe you'll say yes to any fight at this point. I mean, at that point, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I was... I've been trying to fight, you know, and I haven't been as active, like, like I said, as I wanted to be. Um, so, and, and again, it, I wasn't just going to take anything, but I was pretty good. I was getting a little desperate there for a minute. You know, I wanted to fight. I wanted to fight. It had been since January. I was already planning on trying to fight in March. Didn't happen. April just passed. May were coming up. It wasn't looking like May was going to happen. I was getting a little bit gun shy, you know, like, oh, man, what's going to happen here? So, uh yeah, it was great to get in and great for it to be the UFC, but I just, I just want to fight. I want to show the world that I'm here to do that and that I love what I do and, um, and just show myself, really, you know, show myself that I'm not just doing all these things for no reason, that, like, I'm putting in this work and I'm dedicating myself uh, for the greater good, you know. And now that you're in the UFC and you have a win and you have a, a highlight win, have you had a chance to kind of think about potential opponents, like looking forward, people you might want to fight? You know, I haven't. I haven't, honestly. And uh, I'm going to have to go back and look at the rankings and see what's going on and see what's, what's jumping off in there. And maybe I have a name to call out and say something. I don't, I'm not really into calling guys out because, you know, I, I love everybody. You know, like, I'm a lover, you know, outside of the cage. You know, I, I just love love people, love life, you know. So um, whoever the UFC really offers me, I'm, I'll be up for it. You know, I'll be ready for it. But, uh, uh, yeah, I just like to fight great fighters. You know, I want to find out how great I am in the, in the span of great people. Thank you. Thank you. Marcus, what, uh, since this was a catch weight, what is your weight division of choice? Are you a featherweight or are you, are you able to do bantam weight? Oh, I'm absolutely a bantam weight. Yep. Yep. Never, never miss weight at 35. So, uh, I absolutely can make that weight every time. But, uh, on that, on three days notice, yeah, it was it was nicer for me to get to 40. I could have made 36 too. Uh, it just would have been a little bit more of a pain. Might have been a chance of me missing just because of the short notice. It's a hard thing to do to to cut that much weight in that short of time. And that's what the preparation comes into play, right? Like I have the time to water load. I have the time to diet. I have the time to do everything in in line like it needs to be done so that I can make weight. Well, you definitely are a big band weight. Could you fight featherweight if you had to? If the opportunity came up? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I definitely think I could. I definitely think I would be a, a regular size uh, featherweight as well. I did fight at featherweight as an amateur. I never even thought I was going to go to bantamweight until I got around other guys that were making bantamweight. And I was like, okay, maybe I can. <laughs> yeah. And last thing, uh, did they kind of reward you for this, for taking this last minute? Do you got like a couple more fights? Were you able to lock them down for a couple, multiple fights after this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely, in, we're definitely in for a few more fights for sure. So that was nice, too. And after a win, now we might be a little bit more solidified in there, too. So that's good. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, we got some other fights uh, uh, on the contract. So, you know, I plan on this just being the beginning and um, taking off from here. Awesome. Congrats on the victory. Welcome to the UFC. Thank you so much. That sounds great. Awesome.